वेलकम बैक टू कैड कैम ट्यूटोरियल टूडे वी विल स्केच दिस ब्यूटिफुल प्लायर इन सॉलिड वर्क वी विल स्केच ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट एंड असेंबल एट दी एंड सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू मेक इन सॉलिड वर्क नाउ वी विल मेक द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ प्लायर सो लेट स्टार्ट चूज फ्रंट प्लेन स्केच एंड फर्स्ट ड्रो ए हॉरिजोंटल एंड वर्टिकल लाइन्स विच इज इट शुड बी पास थ्रू ओरिजिन select circle and first draw a circle and keep the diameter 263 mm okay now select a line connect from here exit now choose spline up to here exit now select a line and connect with this line and connect up to here okay now we will assign some distance first select this line make little upward uh, 38 mm the distance from here to here 290 and this distance 396 mm and the distance from this point 120 mm make 115 mm okay select this line and this make relation tangent and this one select horizontal make sure it is horizontal and the distance from here to here keep 20 mm and this distance 170 mm select okay now again choose line exit line and draw a uh, let's we start from bottom draw a line like this go back and draw a reverse curve better delete the line now draw a now again go back and choose three point arc connect this end to this end with little curve okay now this curve delete this curve also and select three point arc and connect with this point take it little inside exit now we will assign this 
this length one twenty two mm. Keep the angle nine point five mm. Twenty mm. Now here also we defined angle seventeen point four five. This length thirty six. Vertical distance one sixty two. And the radius one hundred sixty six. Five seventy five. This radius and the distance from here to here. Okay, this one twenty five. Now this is the our geometry. So we will draw one circle from midpoint and keep diameter hundred point seven five mm. Okay. Now let's extrude it. Select this face. This face and this face. Make forty-two point five reverse direction. Okay. Now again choose the same sketch. Select extruded boss, and again choose this face and this face only. Forty-two point five upward front direction. Okay. Now that's it. Edit. Uh, we forget to add something here. We want to add some curve here. Exit. Let's assign the distance. One twenty five mm one thirty five and radius ninety seven mm. Okay, now choose trim entity and trim this inside lines. Select OK. So our this portion is ready. Select exit. Now see. Now select this face sketch normal. Now here we want to create some. Select this line, choose convert entities. Select a line, and we want to draw as exit. Again choose one center line. Okay. Now select these three point and make relation symmetric. Now let's assign angle sixty degree. And select the height twelve point six mm only. Okay. Choose trim entity and trim this out outsider line, and now select extruded cut, and select here through all. Okay. Now see it's extruded. 
now choose curve driven pattern select this line or clear the geometry select show okay now you can select this inside line select here equal spacing and keep ten numbers ten number is better or you can select twelve number so there is no much gap okay select 10 numbers okay now you can see now select this face sketch normal and here also we want to create one triangle a small triangle exit select center line draw center line now select these three lines and make relation symmetric now we will assign some distance from here to this line 2.4 mm here to this line 2.4 mm okay now let's extrude cut choose here through all okay now you can see now we will select linear pattern select this line as a axis and in pattern you can select the last cutout we want 26 numbers and make distance distance 5 mm and 26 number of cutouts you can see it here make 25 select ok now we will assign some metal finish ok that's looking nice Now select the backspace sketch normal and here we want to create a circle. Just select this line midpoint. That's it. And keep the diameter 99 mm. Okay. And select extruded cut and go deep up to 75 mm only, not through all. Okay. Now hide our first sketch. Now you can see it here. Now here we want to cut one extrude body outside. So we will do one thing. Select right plane sketch normal select line and start from this end up to here exit select both the lines and make relation symmetric uh, construction line and assign the angle 30 degree ok now exit from the plane that's it now select this face sketch normal and here choose 2d dimension
select corner rectangle and uh, we want to draw a rectangle up to okay touch with this coincident now assign the length Ninety three MM, okay. Now select now select surface cut, extruded cut, and for cut select this section direction. Select this line. See this axis we created seventy five MM, okay. Now you can see. This is our sharp knife for cutting wires. That's what we want to create. So hide this geometry. Now we will create one sketch plane. Choose right plane, plane, and uh, select 280, 275 mm. Sorry. 275 mm we need little more inside 225 200 it's better okay now select plane sketch normal and here we want to create one geometry so first choose central rectangle and draw a geometry exit now first assign the relation <coughs> draw vertical and horizontal line now exit now we will assign something select this line this line and this line make relation symmetric here also center line and this two outer line symmetric now we will assign the length and width and height 110 mm 73 mm choose center line first we will find out the center point up to here we will merge this center points okay now this is the center of body choose arc point keep 30 mm select all four corners select ok ok now exit now you can select front plane sketch normal choose center point and drop one center in midpoint here again normal select spline and we want to create a path exit now let's assign some dimension the overall length keep one 
1078 mm that's it now the same choose height Sixty six MM and the distance between these two points keep one thirty MM. Okay. Now select this point and make little inside. So Okay, this is our path. Now exit from the sketch. Now we will choose swift boss base. And here in path select sketch 2. You see here, select OK. Now you can see the handle created. This is the handle for this body. Now select sketch 2 and select here show and here one center point so first choose right plane select plane and select this point and here we want to create one plane select ok. Now select this plane, a sketch, normal, now this plane, plane selected. Select this sketch and try to make convert entities. Better exit. Delete the sketch. We will do some modification in this path. Edit normal just delete the line and again choose choose the path line now first choose line and make it straight up to few things then exit now select spline exit now select this line and this line make tangent ok now we will assign the relation seventy eight mm ok
Now select this distance. Make hundred and thirty mm. Now this is the better, and the distance from here to this point sixty five mm. Okay. Now this is the path. Exit. Select OK. Now see the geometry is defined, and our plane. Two also is defined. So now select plane to delete. Now choose right plane. Plane. Select this point as a reference. Okay. Now here we created plane. Select this plane. A sketch. Now select our previous uh, of set geometry and select convert entity. It is converted here. Now choose offset. Now select this. Choose select twenty mm. Okay. Now select extruded boss. Now here you can select this as line as a path. Or just exit and uh, go to exit from the sketch. Select swift boss base. Select this line as a path. or cancel it and we want to create one small path for this so we will do one thing select front plane sketch now select this line convert entities see choose star point here and assign the distance fifty mm select OK select trim entity and trim this outer line uh, I think all deleted just go back and select one line exit now select trim entities now trim this outer line ok now we created path for this profile so exit just go to select swift boss base select profile see the profile going to take the shape of ok now that's it now we will hide this all planes now select this surface face and we will assign the color so we will select all those surfaces where we want to apply the color select ok so this is the insulating cover for uh, plier choose fillet select 80 mm and select this inside
select this 10 mm and this side also 10 mm ok again choose fillet keep 20 mm and select this face ok select this inside face and keep 10 mm or keep 5 mm ok now select these two faces red ok now select this face red ok now our part one is almost ready here also we forget to add some color now we will select this top face sketch normal and select this outer circle uh, this inside circle and this inside circle and choose convert entities select line draw one vertical line again choose it's sometime it is quite difficult to select any line exit now select this outer line convert entities and this outer line convert entities choose stream entities deleted this part and this line this part we want to extrude we want to cut it the word vertical length should be 36 mm ok now the same way we have to do it here select this line and this outer line convert entities now we have to draw one vertical line select it should be vertical stream entities ok now this selected choose stream entity select 36 here we will select 27 only ok now let's extrude cut select this portion and this portion and extrude up to inside 42.5 mm only ok now our first part is ready this is the first part of plier so save as desktop create one folder plier and select part 1 save now with the help of part 1 we will create part 2 so just do one thing select top plane go to mirror select here or here so we will select mirror and select the whole component make sure bodies to mirror and here unmerge the solid body it is very important it is uncheck merge solid body select ok now see
now we, we will do one thing just drag this mirror upward okay so now this is your body 2 we will do one thing just we will delete the body 1 go to insert feature and delete body and here we will select this body 1 ok now the body 1 is deleted now we will do select this face sketch normal now select this face and choose convert entity select this whole convert entity that's it now select extruded boss and here choose up to or select 42.5 reverse direction ok that's it and now from back side we have to remove the same thing sketch normal select this circle convert entity now select circle and draw a circle up to let's assign diameter 263 mm ok and select extruded cut and cut inside up to 42.5 mm ok now that's it now select this face back, back sketch normal and he select this line this arc both arc and click convert entities the same select this arc this arc convert entities and here also this outer arc and this line convert entities choose a line and connect draw a vertical line make sure it is vertical ok choose stream entities delete this outer line and assign the distance twenty seven mm ok now select line and draw a vertical line actually select the line and make relation vertical ok choose trim entities now trim these outer lines now let's assign 36 mm ok now let's extrude cut and extrude up to 42.5 mm ok so this is the our part 2 select this face color red back face save so this is our part 2 now save as part 2 yes 
Now let's go for a third part or last part pin. Now we will sketch third part pin, center pin. So just select top front plane, sketch and draw one circle and keep the red diameter 100.75 mm and let extrude it choose mid plane 85 mm ok and assign the metal satin finish ok now save as part 3 now let's go for the assembly of plier Now we will start the assembly of plier, so choose new, select assembly, now browse part 1, part 2, open, now this is part 1 and this is part 2. Now we will uh, select adjust our measurement, white plane and uh, I will make the quality higher ok now this is the both part one fixed and one moving so we will make relation choose mat and select this in both the circles and make relation co centric ok now select this top face and this face co coincident ok now see the relation created but it is rotating 360 degree so we will do one thing we will assign some some more relation go to advanced mat and choose angle and angle here select 0 select this face inside and this face select here alignment anti-alignment ok 0 and select the maximum 30 mm select ok ok now let's see it is created or not it is not created so edit Now see it is created. Our maximum 30 and minimum 0 degree. Flip dimension, anti alignment. Ok. Now you can see this is minimum and this is maximum. Not It will not open beyond that. So this is the our. Now insert the last component pin. select this pin mat co centric ok now select top face and this face ok now the pin is selected now this is the our plier I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe and like our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS I hope you like thanks for watching